Hey, hey, Waffle Gang, I do hope you're well. My name is Mark, and today we're checking out some more Reddit stories. And if you do love a Reddit story, why not consider hitting that like, subscribe, maybe that notification bell too. And let's crack on with today's first story. Much love, guys. Now, today's first story comes from Mother-in-Law Want Life Insurance, who says, My 25 female, Mother-in-Law 45 female, want to put a million dollar life insurance policy on my husband. 27 male and didn't want me to know okay this is going to sound crazy believe me i know it is that's why i'm asking for advice so my husband and i have been married for a little less than a year and together for seven years his mother-in-law is pretty insane she is a hoarder extremely needy towards her son a liar and willing to do anything to make any situation full of drama and about her I really do not know where to begin with this. My husband's mother has always been off. So we have kept her at arm's length in our life for that very reason. She is a hoarder, always trying to get money out of people and play the woe is me card to get sympathy. Well, this morning she called my husband and has been talking about opening up a life insurance policy on him for about $1 million. She wants to pay into this 100% and be the sole beneficiary to the policy. Now, my husband is an extremely healthy man and his mother is not. She is overweight, has diabetes and does not want to take any medication for it or attempted to improve her lifestyle for it. She is not any way dependent on us or even lives near us. She is about a three hour drive away and she lives with her mother. My husband found the entire thing extremely amusing. It has me extremely uneasy. She knows his social and information. I'm sure if she wanted to, she could easily do this, but the thing that rubs me the wrong way is she keeps saying, I want to make sure I am financially set when you die. Says nothing about the family he is creating or anything. She just wants to make sure she can take care of herself with all the money when he is dead. Like it is a for sure thing, he is going to be dead rather soon so she can bank in on it. She also told him, Make sure you don't tell your wife. You know how people get when they find out you have a hefty life insurance policy. You wouldn't want her to try and murder you. Seriously, what the fuck? I really don't know what to do. I've tried explaining we need to go no contact to my husband, but he keeps saying I shouldn't worry because there isn't anything she can do and to just ignore it and she'll find another get rich quick scheme. I guess I'm just looking for advice on what I can do. I mean, can she do that? Should we allow it? What do you guys think? Edits. We also plan on getting our own health insurance for each other in case of anything happens to us, so our kids will be okay when we have children. Now, I don't really know much about these insurance policies and things like that, but surely she would need his signature for this anyway. And maybe I've seen one too many of these uh, true crime documentaries, but it's given me serious vibes there. You know... OP said that she's in poor health. There's no way that she's going to outlive her husband who seems healthy, very unlikely anyway. So it feels like it's going in that direction, which just sounds absolutely insane. Yes, you're absolutely right. No contact with this person. Get away from them as far as possible because this is going in the direction of unhinged. But in the comments, my opinion is valid, says I fear for him, but I watch a lot of the ID channel. Raptor replies, that's him. My first thought when I read this was, Hope you enjoy getting interrogated when he turns up dead. Lol. OP says, Right, I watch so many of those types of shows and my husband is saying I'm just paranoid. Atomic replies to that saying, Dude, she's an older woman in poor health taking a life insurance policy out on her healthy young son. The only way she's going to collect if he dies of misadventure or if struck down by some disease. She doesn't depend on him now in any way, so why would she need to be taken care of when he dies? She's either crazy or evil or evil and crazy. Carrie 19 says a million dollar policy would be very expensive. And she afford that. To get a policy like that, I'm pretty sure the insurance company would require your husband to go through a physical exam. He could just refuse. Upi says, I don't think she could afford it and keep up with the payments, honestly. She does have a full-time job, but she is a hoarder and is horrible with money. She keeps telling him that she wants to invest in his life insurance because it will make her financially stable when he dies. He's only 27 and he is very healthy. That's what is extremely bothersome about the situation. Opie also added another comment saying, yeah, she doesn't believe 
she will die before him. Swedish says, this starts my spidey senses tingling. It sounds like something from an Anne rule book. I think that both you and your husband need to take this very seriously and speak with a lawyer. Perhaps a lawyer could send her a letter stipulating that she's not permitted to take out this policy. Let mother-in-law know that she'll be implicated if husband meets with an accident of some sort. It could save his life. I fear that she is either malevolent or batshit crazy. Be on your guard. One final comment from Angela Fish Tacos who says, I'm no expert on life insurance, but from what I do know, I seriously doubt that your mother-in-law has the finances to pay for a million dollar life insurance policy. Even if she would be able to get one, starting at a million instead of working her way up, would have extremely high premiums. However, if she does have the funds, I still don't think she should be able to do it. My understanding is that for life insurance, you need to have some type of dependency on the person and your mother-in-law is not. Also, a lot of life insurances, if you go right off the bat to a million, will require health checks and access to medical records, which HIPPA or HIPAA requires forms and such to be signed by your husband. So I doubt she'd be able to take out a policy just on her own. So OP comes back in with an update and says, so I'm back with an update from my previous issue here. Well, today I was out with my husband running errands. His mother continued to call him and text him. He's been ignoring her since the issue of her trying to get him to allow her to take out a million dollar life insurance policy on him. One of her texts got him to call her. She'd been in a car accident over the weekend. So he calls her and she tells him about how she supposedly fell asleep at the wheel of her car and hit a cement median ruining the passenger door and side of her car. And she ends up trying to request that he puts her car on his insurance. That's his car now. And give her permission to drive it so that she does not have to pay increased insurance prices that her insurance is charging her now. What the fuck, right? But when he tells her he is not going to be doing that, they start getting into a heated argument and she brings up the life insurance policy again. Well, in the midst of it, as some of you had predicted, he called her out saying, I bet you're just planning on taking out a loan on the health insurance so you can get rich quick. In Reddit, she admitted to it. She told him that was her plan all along. She was going to take out the life insurance policy, pay it for a few months until she could take out a large loan against it and then stop paying. My jaw just dropped when she proudly admitted to it. Well, my husband told her off and now we're going no contact. He's extremely angry and has basically said she has ruined any relationship they could possibly have with one another. I'm honestly very sad for my husband. I know it must be hard having a mother who cares about only herself, but luckily he does have his father and stepmother who have been very loving and supportive through this horrible situation. I just thought I should update you all since a lot of you predicted this is what is going to happen. Thank you everyone for your advice. My husband and I plan on taking out life insurance policies on each other as we move forward from this and will be going no contact with his mother from now on. TLDR, my husband's mother-in-law was not planning on murdering him for the life insurance policy, but instead taking a loan out against it that she never intended on paying back. My husband and I have decided it's in our best interest just to go no contact with her. A couple of the top comments from that, Teardrop says, wow, I suppose the loan is better than plotting his murder. That still sucks though. Take some time to grieve for the relationship that could have been and carry on enjoying life. Opie says, yeah, I can tell it really hurt my husband yesterday. I tried talking to him about it, but he ended up calling his father before he went to sleep and just talked to him about the situation. My heart really hurts for him right now. A deleted user says, keep a close eye on your credit. She may decide to try and take stuff out in your name and you never know what she may know. Opie says, yes. We've been keeping an eye on it since this situation started and we plan on continuing that. XLV says, I genuinely thought she was planning to murder your husband and Opie said, believe me, so did I. Terra Farmer says, that is so sad that she is capable of such behavior. Thanks for the update. Opie says, yeah, I know. My mum and I are close and I cannot imagine her doing something like this where we would go no contact. Luckily, my husband still has his father and stepmom. And there was also a lot of comments saying, you know, this was just an incredibly dumb plan all along that some companies make you wait a long time before you can actually take a loan out against the policy anyway. And an absolute no contact situation from that horrible person. But what do you guys make of this situation? Would you be able to apply for that sort of thing anyway? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. And let's move on to another story. 
Now, before we do get into this story, it is a story that we have covered in the past about a little while back now, but it's come in with a new update. So as always, I read the previous parts of the stories that it will always be timestamped down in the description so you can skip certain parts, go straight to the new update. If you remember it previously, totally up to you, but it's all there and let's crack on with it. And our next story comes from General Nothing 5798 from the Am I the Arsehole and the Dadit subreddits and says, Am I the Arsehole for not wishing my mom a happy birthday and then not letting her come to our house? I, 25 male, have a wife, 24 female. For the sake of the story, let's call her Amelia. Amelia and I got married two years ago, coming up to three years in June. We have recently just had our first baby, a beautiful baby girl. My mum was never a huge fan of my wife for reasons I will never know, but I don't care as I love Amelia so much that I've had to defend her against my mum multiple times. My wife's labour lasted much longer than we expected. She started on Thursday evening and delivered our baby on Monday during the very early hours of the morning. Oof. As you can imagine, it was a long process and she was exhausted and so was I, as I wasn't sleeping unless she was asleep. My mum's birthday was on the Saturday and she had a whole party planned out. Amelia at this point was in awful pain very consistently, meaning I was constantly by her side, doing whatever she needed me to do, meaning that the Friday nights we got no sleep so when Saturday came around we both were fighting the sleep and could barely stay awake. Because of this I just completely forgot it was my mum's birthday, as I didn't really look much at my phone and if I did it would be for entertainment for my wife and I together. We both agreed beforehand that when the time came we would send the initial text that the baby was coming but that would be it and we wouldn't respond to any other texts until after. Well, my baby girl was finally born and we announced it to our family. Then I got to replying to my messages from the past few days and that's when I saw my mum text about it being her birthday and she sent a few more after expressing her anger for me not getting in contact. So I called her up apologizing but explaining that I genuinely forgot and it wasn't intentional. She went on to blame my wife by saying she purposely went into labor right around her birthday in order to steal the spotlight from her son, which I found really weird to say. From this comment alone, I got annoyed and just told her to leave me and my wife alone and that she isn't welcome at our house for the next few days. She can wait till she's over a fit to see her granddaughter. My whole family has been calling me an arsehole and that I'm a bad son for not remembering my mum's birthday. But I am an even worse son for not letting her meet her grandbaby. It's annoying because all we want to do is enjoy our new baby together. Just the two of us without anyone being a bother. So, am I the arsehole? So, Opie responded to a couple of comments. Pinebox waiting said, not the arsehole. It's cute that your mum thinks your wife is talented enough to go into labour on command. It's bizarre that you're the only person in your family who realises the world doesn't revolve around your mum. Keep to your boundaries, daddy, and congratulations. Opie says, I mean, I know my wife's amazing and all, but she isn't that talented to go into labour on command, but thank you so much. BK Worm says, not the arsehole, your mum should have understood when you told her you were with your wife in labour. Not been bitching and accusing. Tell or message your mum that after how she stupidly insulted your wife, Specify that she accused your wife of choosing to go into labor to damage your mum's birthday party. You will need an apology from her to your wife in person and on social media. And CC that request to all the family. Independent length says not the so you didn't intentionally forget your mum's birthday. You're supporting your wife giving birth. A difficult one at that. That she could make your wife's difficult scary labor about her and have the audacity to say your wife planned that to steal your spotlight screams narcissist. It's also completely normal to wait a few days for family to meet a new baby for fuck's sake. Everyone but you and your wife are assholes here. Congrats on the new addition to your family. That's just such wild thought processes, isn't it? Your son's just had a child with his wife. It's, you know it's been a hard labor and now he phones up to apologize, you know, but explaining what happened. And your first thought is, She's trying to steal the spotlight from my birthday. She done this on purpose. That is just absolutely crazy thinking to me. And anyone defending that bullshit is just as crazy. I'm trying to imagine like a, a family member in a similar situation. You know, they just went through a difficult birth together and then they phone me up. I'd be like, oh, how are you guys doing? Are you OK? You know, can I bring you anything? Not concerned about my birthday. 
two people that you should love with all your heart just went through all this and you're just absolutely talking shite oh dearie me but op did come in with their first update which says hi firstly i want to say thank you to everyone for your advice and it really made me realize how serious the situation is i took the advice and decided to post an instagram and facebook post before my mum got a chance to in the post i mentioned that my wife went through and purposely left in that she would never want to forcefully go through that in the post i mentioned what my wife went through and purposely left it in she would never want to forcefully go through that just to make it clear to my mum and family what the truth is we announced that whilst we soak up our newborn that uninvited guests won't be allowed in our home so please respect our privacy as we take the time as a new family this worked and i got a lot of friends and even some family commenting their congrats to us my mum has since asked when she can see her granddaughter and we have just said that she will see her when she fixes her attitude towards my wife as my baby won't grow up to see her mother treated like she's nothing also the fact that my wife never deserved to be hated in the first place we are going no contact for now and we are happy as we could ever be with our new baby girl about my family we have sent them a message with a full story and now they feel really awful about everything originally my mum told them that my wife got induced and that she took some medicine to slow down the labor I don't even think that medication exists because apparently that's what i said on the phone which is obviously not the truth and my mum started claiming that i did that to compete with her my sisters are only young and didn't question my mum but now have been nothing but supportive that being said though i still have my guard up for now just in case thank you then again for your advice and all your kind words to me and my wife we really appreciate it and we do have another update like a year later in a moment Whenever that sort of stuff happens, the, the family takes the person who's clearly in the wrong side. I always think, what have they actually been told in the background? What is going on there? Because you think anyone who's logically thinking and like all of us reading this right now thinking that mom is absolutely mad. So for a whole family to take her side just seems crazy in itself. It happens. We've seen it before in these stories as well, but you would have thought a logical thinking person wouldn't but i lied the first post wasn't a year later it was there's a there's a couple <laughs> the first one was from dad who is a, and it's a little sweet post that titled it i never knew i could love someone so much till my daughter was born and said my daughter is two and a half weeks old and i never felt love like this in my whole life i love every feature about this little human being her eyes are so beautiful and just melt my heart the little faces that she makes and noises are just to die for when I wake up in the night and see her, no matter how tired I am, I never get disappointed when she settles down in my arms, like I'm her safe space. As a guy, I'm willing to admit that I have massive insecurities about myself, like my nose and ear shape. Why do those features of mine just fit so perfectly on my baby girl? I honestly am in baby glow and just want to snuggle her all day long until she's old enough to refuse my hugs and kisses. I love being a dad more than anything in this world. So then Opie comes in with a year later update and says, hi. So I'm the guy whose mum claimed that my wife went into labor on purpose near my mother's birthday so that my wife could steal the spotlight. I forgot to text my mum happy birthday due to my wife being in active labor and being sleep deprived. We decided to go no contact after our baby girl was born. We only planned to do that for a little bit. However, it has been a whole year. My daughter turned one a few days ago. It's just been the best year of my whole life. She's just perfect. However, my mum never stopped with her attitude she was giving us, meaning she still has not met her grandkid. It's been a whole year and she still claims my wife went into labor on purpose. My siblings that I do have contact with have met her and do adore their niece. My mum still follows me on Facebook. I don't have her blocked on there, but she's definitely upset that she hasn't met the baby yet. Her own fault. Thank you again for all the love and support. It really was much appreciated. I just can't believe for a second that it has been a year. And a couple of the top comments from that one. First comment says, wow, what a narcissist. I'd be delighted if my daughter had a kid the same day as my birthday when she's older. I think it'd be awesome to share a birthday with a grandkid. Stay strong, dad. Hopefully she learns the error of her ways before it's too late. If not, you don't need that kind of negativity in your kid's life. Gullible Solution says, my dad was thrilled when my sister-in-law went into labor on his birthday unexpectedly early traditional formal says i love that i share a birthday with my niece i'm too old for birthday parties now but 
I get to go to hers and get cake and bluey toys. It's great. And it's so much a lower pressure because everyone is watching her while I eat my cake. And that's what it's really all about. It's all about the cake. And just think, you're not seeing your grandchild because you've made this your hill to die on. That you lied, you caused pain and misery, and you just won't accept fault. Although everyone else around you knows that you're in the wrong. You won't just say you're sorry. Is there any way that I can start building some kind of relationship with you again? You know, OP might not accept it. They didn't have to accept it. Wife doesn't have to accept it. But not seeing your granddaughter or your family because you've chosen this path is just... It's fucking sad, man, honestly. But it's her choosing in the end. What do you guys make of this situation? I'm glad that OP is enjoying the family life it sounds like they got a great thing going on right now but let us know your thoughts down in the comments below and just a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart for getting involved in today's stories your love your support your time always means the absolute world to me so thank you so so much and hopefully i'll see you in the next one take care and much love Brush my teeth up, watch my face, throw my clothes on, start my day. Wake up, I can smell the smoke from the bacon. Let's go, see the sun shining from the windows. Okay, I know that today will be a good day. Okay, I know that today will be a good day. A, B, C, 